Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to talk about my Miss, my favorite Miss Universe Mexico of the decade. So which means these are the delegates from Mexico in Miss Universe that represented from 2010 to 2019. And to be honest, there's a lot of good and strong representatives from this country and Mexico is actually considered as one of the strongest country in the Latin American region. And if we just take a look back at the last decade, I mean, my favorite last decade from Mexico is undoubtedly Elisa Nahara from 2008. She was amazing. So this year, I mean, this decade, we will be selecting and choosing another strong representative of Mexico for the last decade. So let's begin. Starting with my number 10, 2011, Karin Ontiveros. Karin is actually a beautiful contender and honestly, I think that she is a decent follow-up after their 2010 victory. Her swimsuit and evening gown performance during preliminaries were both okay. I just don't think it was good enough for a limited spot in the first cut. If there was a top 30, she would be there. My number 9, 2013, Cynthia Duque. I am not really a huge fan of her beauty. She's a bit plain to me. However, I do believe that her performances in the preliminaries are quite decent. Her swimsuit prelims was very good. Her evening gown prelim performance was one of the good ones as well. But the gown choice, terrible. Number 8, 2015, Wendoli Esparza, who finished in the top 15. I really like her during the national pageants, but during the Miss Universe season, not that much. Honestly, I kind of doubted her placement in the finals, but I wasn't surprised as well when she placed because with IMG in the Cineverse, I like her I like her cause and her story about immigration, which is a very hot topic during that time. And performance-wise, she's just okay to me. My number seven, 2017, Denise Franco. A huge shocker during the competition. Many of us actually expected her to be an obvious qualifier, but she did not make it. She's got this very fresh aura, angelic features, and confident vibe in her. Her swimsuit performance was one of the best during the preliminaries. Her figure was amazing, her walk was also strong, and she has the performance of a qualifier. Her evening gown choice wasn't as strong at, as uh, evening gown choice, and when it comes to performance, it isn't as strong as the swimsuit. But her overall look is so, so hard to ignore. Definitely a head-scratching result for Mexico that year. My number 6, 2012, Karina Gonzalez who finished in the top 10. One of the best faces that Mexico has sent in the pageant. There wasn't really something phenomenal with her performances in both swimsuit and evening gown during the preliminaries, but with her confidence, personality, beauty, and the cheering crowd, she was already a shoe in in the semifinals. Her top 10 placement was a decent was decent enough for her. So good job to Karina. My number five, 2014, Jocelyn Garcia. Clearly one of the biggest shock in pageant history last 2014. Honestly, I am still confused why she did not make it. Beauty-wise, she's got it. One of the prettiest representatives that Mexico has sent in the pageant. Aside from that, she's got a great profile too. She's a volunteer when a hurricane hits. She's, she's an athlete, a swimmer specifically, and has won gold medals. She's, she's also got, she's, she also speaks English very, very fluently. And during the preliminaries, she was also a standout. She looked divine in the evening gown competition, great gown choice, strong performance, and very confident and beautiful as well. Swimsuit performance, superb. And body, amazing. There may be some factors why she did not make it, but if we just base it on performance alone, Many of us right now are still asking why she wasn't there. May number 4, 2018, Andrea Toscano. 2018 was the year filled 
with the super super strong contenders and Andrea is one of them. We didn't exactly think she would win but many of us speculate that she will be there at least in the first cut. One of the most beautiful faces during the competition and she was so ready to compete and she definitely gave a super strong performance. Her swimsuit preliminary was super strong. That was really her strongest point. Loved her walk, loved the color of the swimsuit that she chose, and her overall performance was superb. But when she came out in her evening gown, I feel like I want to vomit. I mean, that was a terrible choice of gown. I mean, it was very similar to most of the, what they call this fabric that is covered on tables. I mean, that's what I saw when I saw her in that evening gown. But still, many of us are still hopeful. But sadly, she did not make it. However, I am happy that she redeemed herself in Miss International, finishing first runner-up. My number three is 2016 Crystal Silva, who finished in the top nine. Crystal was already expected to be a sure qualifier in the competition. She's very beautiful, great personality, and her experience in another major pageant already created a fan base for her. Performance-wise, it was truly superb. Loved her turns during the swimsuit round, and her evening on performance wasn't bad at all either. I was kind of hoping she would enter the top six, but I'm still happy for her because top nine is already an impressive achievement. My number two... 2010, Jimena Navarrete, who won Miss Universe. Jimena is the only Miss Universe winner from her country in the last decade. She came in as one of the front runners to win, and she did not fail to deliver. Her beauty is just unbelievable. Her swimsuit performance is one of my favorites because of her youthful aura, and that giggle was just adorable. I mean, the evening gun round is where she transformed into a goddess there may be strong contenders like jamaica at that time but she's already owned but mexico is already owning the moment every time which makes her a deserving winner and the best representative from mexico of the last decade is no other than 2019 sofia aragon who finished as second runner-up with how people reacted on social media after the pageant i know majority of us did not expect Mexico to go as far as top three. It's still, it is still fresh in my mind at how her preliminary was interrupted by the mopping of the floor. And after prelims, many of us are sure that she would be in the top 20 at least. And in the finals, when she was interviewed, interviewed by Steve Harvey, I literally said, what the hell? I mean, I did not expect her to speak so, so good. Her top 20 speech was also beautiful. What I love about her in the finals is that cla her class is, is her classic beauty and styling. She was great in swimsuit, but she was a bomb during the evening gown round. That gown transformation and turn was unbelievable and definitely a wow moment for her. I still remember that it became viral in Instagram where a lot of, at least from the... I mean, there's a lot of people who tried to do the turn that she did and removing the extra fabric in her gun. I saw a lot of versions on social media, so that only proves that she really made an impact last 2019. And we all know as well that she dominated the final question rounds and what an impressive representative from Mexico. I prefer her than Jimena simply because she gave me more wow moments when she competed. So that's it, these are my top 10 favorites from Mexico in the last decade during the Miss Universe pageant. So I'm very excited to know your result, your, your ranking as well, and if you agree with my personal choice. So don't forget to leave your comments below, don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.